Hi YouTube, it's me, your boy, Britney Spears, TM, copyright, coming at you with another video. You might be thinking, oh, his hair looks a bit different. Just a little bit. Um, at least I hope you notice. <coughs> this wig needs a bit of a, a good makeover, because this, this isn't really a wearable whatsoever. It used to be beautiful, but I neglected it. I abused it. It turned into this. I'm sorry. I'll make it up to you, I promise. I might just get started by trying to maybe detangle all of this, which is gonna be a tough whatever. Yeah, let's just try to pull a brush through it. Lovely. So that doesn't really work, does it? Ugh. Oh, maybe tangle teaser. TM, not sponsored. Cause that's not gonna fly off at least. Ugh. Don't be mad at me for being rough with it. Cause it's seen rougher times than this brush. Oh wow. You ever let something get so bad and you don't realize how bad it's getting? And then you decide to do something about it and it's like, oh fuck, yeah. Maybe you should have done something earlier and not have let it got onto this point. Welcome to my life. VAR XD. This is bad. Oh, this is really bad. I'm just gonna turn on my straightness, try and see if I can pull those through. Heat it up a bit, because it is heat resistant synthetic. And maybe try to see if I can do anything about this. Oh yeah, I forgot my straighteners did that. There's supposed to be like steam powered, like you're supposed to put water in here, but I'm not gonna do that. Who has the time in this economy? So I'm just gonna try to maybe see if that helps and it definitely does. See, that's already a million times better for just that streak. So I'm gonna do that to all of this, all of this lovely, beautiful hair that I've got. Um, so how has your week been? This might take a while, so maybe just get comfortable, get a drink, get some popcorn, do something, I don't know. I can't help you. Um, I'm just gonna try and straighten all of this so that I can style it afterwards. Just get it like tangle free as possible. So that's my strategy for now. I look ridiculous. I don't think I need you. I, I don't think I need me. I don't think I you need, wow. I don't think you need me to tell you how bad this is. This summer is gonna be so freaking nice. I'm gonna go on holiday for the first time in years. I'm going to Egypt with my lovely boyfriend. It's gonna be his birthday. That's gonna be quite nice. Hi, this is Editing Niels, and I just realized that everything I was saying in this entire section is boring as shit and none of you wanna listen to it. So here's my acapella rendition of The Root Sandstorm. It's so fucking hot in here. We don't have AC because I don't. I'm, I'm not that fancy bitch. Um, it is really hot and this wig and this straightening iron aren't helping. You gotta do what you gotta do. Anything for YouTube. Brush the other side like this. There's so much muck in it. Like tobacco, dust, just random pieces of paper. I look like an egg, a hot egg. Fashion, Vogue, Couture. What are y'all doing this summer? I know I'm excited for my holiday and y'all know I'm excited for my holiday, but why is that? I have no idea what's on the floor now. Well, I'm starting to get closer to 500,000 followers on Instagram. Just half a million people. Half a million of you, that's so many people. Y'all are insane, I don't know what else to say about that. Thank you 
thought staying with my weird, now purple wigged self. I often don't feel like I deserve it. Like I've worked hard for it, obviously. But still, there's so many people out there that are more talented than me, more creative, that know what they're doing, that get zero recognition in comparison to me. And I don't want to compare myself to others, because that's obviously your own biggest downfall. But I sometimes just think, what did I do that other people didn't do that got me to where I am now? Like, what made me deserve it over someone else, you know? Because I don't feel like I do, oftentimes. I guess I'm getting a bit deep and rambly and like, weird for some of you. And I get it if you don't want to listen to me ramble and just want to watch me style a wig from start to finish. But I like talking about my life. I enjoy like, expressing myself in more ways than just creativity. Like I have a voice and I know I don't as often use it as I should because it's uh, easy to get caught up in just posting photos of yourself. That's so much better already. Can we take a moment? That's straight hair for you. I'm not gonna keep it straight, I don't think. I think I'm gonna add some waves and like volume and stuff like that. But for now, I think I'm doing pretty good. Beautiful. Let's give it a brush through and a final little like sweep through with the straighteners to make sure that it's all level. Mm, right, so as you can see, this hair is a lot more hair like and about 10,000 times more workable than it was before. So I'm gonna try to start styling now. I don't really know what I want to do yet. I don't think I'm going to do something really intricate. I think I want to keep it fairly simple, but not too simple. I'm going to do a half up, half down. So I'm going to start by taking a section here. I'm um, taking this in my mouth. I won't be able to talk. And I'm going to twist this up to the back. and tie that up at the bottom right here with a hair tie like so then what I'm gonna do is take a pin a bobby pin and make sure that this doesn't stand up too much in this section down pull that back and also pin that down in the back so now we have this and what i'm gonna do then is make a little braid down the side right here Tie it up at the bottom and loosen it up just a little bit. Just pull it less tight so that it gives more of a romantic feel to it. And pin that back along with the other braid. Like this. Then here, I'm gonna take a section as well. Just a top section that I parted that way for a reason. I'm gonna put that in a twist like I did with this one. Pin that down in the back, take some hair from here, from the side right there, and also braid that into a little Dutch braid. Tie that up as well, and again, pin it to the back. So now we're left with this going on. In the back it looks like this, which I'm aware it doesn't look very good at the moment, but I'm gonna fix that up. For that I'm gonna just take it off. and work on the back a little bit. So I'm gonna be taking this and just kind of 
draping it over top of the rest of it and pushing that in with another bobby pin i'm gonna take this one right here do the same sort of thing i'm kind of just free handing this so you have to kind of just eye it and see what looks good so don't think i uh, specifically know what i'm doing oops now as for this i'm just gonna take that right there and pin that in so then we have this going on in the back it's meant to kind of look cute and romantic and pretty i suppose you can play with that around and you can play around with it until you get something you like really so now in the back i got this going on yes see to the sides it looks like this the top looks like this the other side looks like this so now i'm gonna be putting it back on my head now that i have the back done so now the whole thing looks like this and the bottom is straight as of right now which looks kind of good as is but i think i kind of want to add some wave and texture to it so i'm gonna be taking out some uh, unconventional hair rollers because i don't really have any proper hair rollers so uh yeah so just give me a little second i'll be right back so what i have are you ready toilet paper rolls i'm a i'm a bit cheap um so i'm gonna be taking these and using some pins i'm gonna start up in the front heating it up with the straightening iron and just getting it over then wrapping it around here and then And I know I look ridiculous. You're welcome. Because this is synthetic hair, I can't really use a curling wand on it. Hence why the toilet paper rolls. And I'm gonna be doing this to all of the remaining hair. Lovely. Beauty. Grace. Style. Fashion. Couture! I'm just gonna leave these in for a minute, let them cool down for a bit. And I'll be right back when they have, and I'll take them out. So I'm just gonna take all of these out now because they've all cooled down. And as you can see, we've got a nice bouncy wave type thing going on right there. I know how classy using toilet paper rolls to curl a wig. We ain't classy here. We don't do class. So I'm just gonna take all of them out. Oh, that one's nice. And then last but not least, there we go got some nice wave curl things going on down there which is exactly what i wanted so now i'm just going to be taking some concealer and putting it on the parting right here to make it a bit more prominent and make the hairline look a bit better to do that i'm going to be using this nyx highlighting contour cream pro palette which is a uh, very worn out as you can see i'm going to be taking this color right here because it's closest to my skin tone i'm going to be taking a sigma winged liner brush the e06 and i'm going to be applying that right here I'm just taking it in there a little bit i'm gonna be applying some right here because there's some skin showing there as well around here just gonna try to make it look as natural as possible so now we got that down all i'm gonna be really doing is adding some hair rings and then i'm done with this wig and i'm only gonna be putting them in the braids on the side not in the twists that we did So now this is pretty much the finished look. Do you like it? Because I like it a lot. And it's uh, at least 10 million times better than it was before, to say the least. At least I hope it is. You can let me know if I did well enough or not. 
um, just let me know what you think of this hair. Just let me know what you think of the finished product and this wig transformation. I, uh, I kind of enjoy doing this a lot and maybe if you want to see more videos like this, let me know. Share the video maybe if you're feeling really generous. Maybe like it and subscribe to my channel on which I post about maybe once every six months. But hey, who cares? I'm still posting every now and then, right? Um, anyway, I think this is it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye. Thank you.